All right, guys, so this is the AVA, AV Matrix uh, HVS uh, 041. This is the alternative to the ATM Mini. Um, now, it's like a hybrid between the ATM Mini and Mini Pro because there's some features that it has on here that the uh, Mini Pro has. Um, and, you know, there's some features that the Mini Pro, you know, has that this doesn't. So I'm gonna talk to you real quick about this um, box. It's not that big, so this is you know comparison. It's not it's not big at all. Um, you have you know color coded um, buttons here that kind of let you know what's happening on the screen. Um, it does have multi view out in addition to additional um, HDMI. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but I, I think it's a really good alternative to if you're trying to do something where you need a, a portable mixer um, to a switcher to run your uh, video and audio. Um, this works well. It does have uh, four video inputs. Uh, you do have your two additional audio inputs. You do have audio outputs. You have uh, the ability to hook up a computer, you know, through your um, HDMI 4, I mean, through your 4 input. We can actually do like DisplayPort as an input on the back versus HDMI, or you can do HDMI. It lets you switch between the two. Um, but this is this is this is the box. It's really cool. It does have fans on it, so you do have um, you hear the fans running sometimes. Um, but this is it's a really cool thing. Let me show you this real quick. This is the Layout here for the multi view you guys let me zoom, come out a little bit so you guys can see that So that's how the multi view monitor looks right so you have your You know this this I have a bar. Let me turn the bar off on that So I have my preview program um, I have my camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. Have my time as far as my clock and my date right here. Um, on this side, I do have things like, uh, let me see if I can show you this. Um, I do have like the input, which input am I using? Channel one, channel two. I can change that through the menu. I do have um, my audio mode and my doing the mixing where everything coming in is mixed through one output, or I can have it where it follows. So as I change the different camera shots, It'll you know change the audio for that camera shot. This also program out. You can do different types of outputs. You can do um, 1080p from 24 frames up to 60 frames. Same thing with 1080i. So as you put everything in, it's going to basically push it out through your program, whatever format you got here. So um, let me put this back up so you guys can see some of the. Let's see. So let's look at this real quick. So let's look at the um, so I can get to the menu. So if I want to get into the menu, what I'll do is on the actual box here, there's a there's a button here that says menu. So when I hit the menu button, it brings up over here some options, right? So I can go through my system settings, network settings. It's this can this doesn't have the ability to stream directly from it from my understanding. So I believe you can actually um, connect it to the internet and stream. But it has some different settings here. Now if I go back to the beginning here. This is where I can change some of the settings using this little uh, menu. Well, not necessarily the menu button, these arrows right here. I can go ahead and change the inputs for channel one to my N1, N2, N3, N4, and this is uh, the HDMI inputs. RTI in, mic in, mic one, two, or just, you know, so it'll tell me what I want channel one to be, right? Um, then you can go back over to channel two and set that up. You can have maybe both of them be channel, you know, both of them be the inputs for channel one, you know, or input for uh, channel two, you know, from so audio from the HDMI source will basically be your main in and out. Um, so you can change all those cool things. Um, so I like that. It does have that feature uh, built into it. Um, I think it's a really good option for those who are looking for a, um, you know, just an alternative to the ATM Mini Pro right now. Though those are on back order right now. Um, we're actually uh, authorized uh, dealers for Blackmagic and right now we're getting a time frame of about, oh man, 14 to 16 weeks, 14 to 18 weeks before from the time a person, from the time a person orders it to the time we actually um, are able to deliver it. All right, let's talk a little bit more about this layout. Really cool, you can do your auto cuts, um, you know, where you, you push the button and it'll fade in and out, transition it. I'll show you on the screen in a minute this. This here, but you can change the speed of it, rate one, rate two, rate three. This is just a regular fade. Um, depending on what, what you have, because right now I have it on mix. If I do a regular fade, I can change the setting as far as the effects for, you know, is it fading? Do I want to do a wipe, like a push screen, stuff like that? Um, all that stuff, right? So I can do all that there with these buttons, and then whatever I push here, if I push auto, that's what it's going to do. Okay, I do have just regular cut, so I can just cut it. 
just by tapping that, right? Really cool, love that. Do have a fade to black. So I'm gonna push that button, FTB, everything goes black. You also have picture in picture here. Push that button. I'm gonna show you the screen what it does when you do that. Picture in picture. It does give you ability with picture in picture to kind of move your, um, you know, picture in picture around the screen, resize it, all that good stuff. You also can do a still. So if you wanna close out with a still, you hit still, it'll freeze whatever's on that program out and that's what it stays there. Um, you do have over here, audio mixing options where you can do, you know, just mix everything together. You can do the follow, where as you switch different shots, it'll bring the audio in for that one. You also control the volume um, up and down here too, for that too. Um, these are some shortcut keys up top. Um, I know on the, on the screen it tell you like this F1 is for resolution. You can change resolution quickly. Number two is a source. This is number, F2 is basically a source for, for um, let me see if I can show you this real quick. Well, let me just go here. All right, so if I click F2, right, watch what happens right there. If I click F2, it's gonna change from HDMI on my uh, input for number four to display port. And I can change it back to HDMI. This is really good. So if you plug in something that has a display port input, for those who are gamers and you have like a really high end graphics card and you wanna make sure that it keeps the resolution and you have a display port out, you can plug that into the input four and it'll let you change it right there to display port four and bring that video in that way. So it does have that ability to do that. Let me show you this while I'm here. So let's go ahead and um, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit so I can show you the screens. All right, I'm gonna show you just the top part. All right, so um, I have one of our PTZs. That's what this, this shot is, a PTZ we have um, that's giving me this shot here that you're looking at. So if I want to do something where, again, let's do, uh, the auto fade, right? So I'm gonna do, right now I have my effects on fade. I have it on rate one, I push auto. See how fast that was, right? If I do rate two, push auto again on fade, it's a little bit slower. I push rate three, fade again, it's a little bit slower, right? Really cool. If I put it back on mix, it looks similar. I mean, it's just mixing, it's mixing shots, all right? I could change the rate on that also. Again, it's a little bit slower. Let me put bars up on the bottom so way you guys can see the transition a little bit better. So that's rate one. Rate two, rate three, a little bit slower, right? Now I can do push. If I wanna make it a push, I could do this one where I'm pushing it up. Again, rate one, rate two, a little bit slower, rate three, all right? So you can change the speed of these. So all these are pushes. You go down, come in from the left, come in from the right, all right? You can change the speed of all that, right? Now you also have like just a regular cuts, all right? Really cool, really cool. All right, let me, um, I'm going to disconnect this real quick. I want to show you guys the back of it. Um, I think it's really important to see what you have on the back of it, right? But that's basically how this looks. Again, this is with the multi-view out. So this is where it's similar to the ATM Mini Pro because the ATM Mini Pro has that multi-view out where the ATM Mini doesn't. Um, this is like, and it's priced like right between the two, right? Well, I'll take that back. This is probably priced a little bit higher, maybe about $100 or so, higher than the Mini, the regular Mini. Um, it does have a, a, a TF... If you look right there on the screen, it says it has a, a TF uh, card right there. I, I'm not sure if that's for recording as of yet. I don't know. It may be. I'm just not sure if it's, if it's for recording. If it is for recording, then this would literally be an ATM Mini Pro substitute because it literally would be able to do at that point everything the Mini Pro can do as far as recording, broadcasting live directly from it, giving you the uh, multi-view out. So um, I don't know. I have to find that out, uh, see if I can reach out to... Uh, uh, AV matrix in reference to that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the back of it now. That way you guys can see all the different inputs and outputs and all that good stuff on the back of it. All right, so this is the back of it. Um, as you can see, you have, you have a lot of uh, information back here, right? You have a lot of information. You do have a LAN connection to hook up your internet. You do have another um, connection here. I believe that's for um, controlling it through a computer, I'm, I'm assuming. You do have USB out, so it comes a USB cam, so you hook this directly up to a computer and put it, hook it up to like a, a OBS or a Wirecast. If you don't want to use like the interface here to do streaming, you can connect it to a computer and use Wirecast, OBS, VMix, any of those you know popular softwares to be able to just use this as a webcam. Put all your com your cameras into it, webcam out. This also has RCA in. You also have the regular 3.5 to um, options there for in as far as the mic mic inputs. Um, so if you don't lapel mics direct you know audio if you don't like like interview style whatever you want to use it for it does have all that um those options there for you um you also have the line out so if you need a monitor audio monitor you can hook up maybe some computer speakers to where you are so you can have a good audio feed when you're doing your broadcast hook up headphones to the back of that either or if you're in a control room where you can put up put speakers up put speakers up but if you're not you need your headphones you can do that right there 
does have a tally. Um, this is really cool because you actually can run tally on this. Um, from my understanding, from, you know, from the way this looks like you can run a tally on it also. Now here are your inputs in the back I was talking about. You have your HDMI on one, HDMI on two, HDMI on three. Now once you get right here, you got HDMI and you got display port on four. So that's why you was able to switch between the two. So whichever one you plug in, you can actually switch between the two. Now you might be able to plug in, you know, I'm, I'm just saying you may, I'm not saying you, you can for sure, but I'm assuming you might be able to do this. We actually can run five inputs and just have that fourth input where you can switch between the two. Um, you know, so that might be something that you may be able to do to make this a five input um, uh, mixer. All right, other thing you have, you have your program out one, program out two. So you can send out off of this two different sources. One can go to, uh, you know, a recorder, you know, like a, a, a video recorder, like a, a ninja, something like that. Um, one can go to another uh, option as far as like if you're using this in a, a house of worship, you can send another one of those out to like the projectors. Um, so you have two options here just off this mixer to give you really good outputs. And then you also have the multi view, which was hooked up to earlier that showed you all everything on the screen. So like I said, it's a lot of options. One thing I do like about this too, it does have an on and off switch. The um, ATM Mini, don't, they don't have those. ATM Mini and Mini Pro, you have to unplug it. So I wish they did have a switch that you could just push a button and, and leave it plugged up, but unfortunately don't. So this is a really good option. Um, if you're looking for something that's an ATM Mini um, or, or ATM Mini Pro alternative, um, this may work for you. If you are maybe doing something where you're using it, you know, if you're trying to do the ATM Mini Pro because you like the recording feature and uh, stuff like that, um, I would say just worst case scenario, if you can't record off that TF slide on the front, just takes a recorder hooked up to one of your programs out and record it that way. Um, you know, or if you're going through USB cam, you can record it to your computer. So it's not really like a, you know, if you can't record directly inside of it, um, cause even with the ATM mini pro, you still have to, you know, uh, hook up a hard drive to it to record. So that's, that's what I recommend. Um, it doesn't have the black magic, you know, software. So if you're looking for like exclusive black magic, like the Fairlight audio and all that, doesn't have that. So if you're, you're kind of stuck on that, then, you know, you go with the black magic. But if you're just saying I need something to kind of do like this um, video mixing for me, something that's portable, nice, high end professional to get this really good quality, um, that's really good. Um, so that's what I recommend. Again, this does do picture in picture too. I didn't get a chance to show you guys how to navigate that, but there is an easy way. It's a really easy way to just navigate the picture in picture on this one too. All right, guys. So this is the AV matrix, uh, the 401 that we, uh, actually have as an alternative to the ATM mini and the mini pro. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.